For those of you guys who want to improve your 2K skills and beat all of your opponents, check out the first ever 2K ebook. For only $10, you guys can know some of the most unstoppable and cheesiest plays in NBA 2K20. The link to that ebook will be the first link in the description. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back bringing another video. And in this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new Moments John ja Morant. Before we hop into it and everything, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and smash the like button on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get this like goal on this video up to 505 likes. Hopping straight into it right here, as you guys can see in front of us on the screen today, we do have the brand new main man of the hour. As this John Moran did get a diamond card for dropping a 27 point triple double against the Washington Wizards a few nights ago. I was, what I'm about to say is me not complaining. It's just kind of funny that 2K did. Trust me, it's not complaining, guys. I'm very, very glad it, this man Jock got this card right here. But what's kind of crazy is that Zion Williamson got a pink diamond for only playing like 19 minutes and had like, I think, 20 points in his NBA debut, while John Morant had a 27-point triple-double, his first crit triple-double, and only got a diamond card. Personally, I felt like John Morant deserved a pink diamond if Zion got a pink diamond for having that 19-point, 19 19-minute 19 debut or something like that. I'm not complaining, guys. I just feel like John Morant did deserve a pink diamond for that performance. Especially considering the fact that Zion Williamson got a pink diamond for a lot less of a performance. But anyways, guys, let's get back on track with the John Morant card right here. As I did buy him off the auction block for 46 point, I think, 5,000 MT. Around that range is how much this jaw card is going for right now. Without further ado now, let's hop into the badges and attributes of this card right here. And then we'll hop into the gameplays. 2K made him a half point guard, half shooting guard. Sending it at 6 foot 3, weighing it at a light 175 usually i say it's a solid but this one right here guys john Rand actually a pretty light point guard when it comes to the badge count right here 2k gave him 13 hall of fame badges including volume shooter tireless shooter acrobat stop and go space creator quick first step slippery finisher showtime dimer giant slayer because the finisher contact finisher and fast break finisher as well as 20 gold badge right here i'm gonna be naming out the most important gold badges which are fancy footwork gold clamps lopsidy passer catch and shoot needle threader Ankle breaker, tight handles, unpluckable, dead eye, quick draw, ring descender, slippery off ball, difficult shots, floor general, and one silver badge, which is silver downhill. On to the attributes for job. 2K gave him a 92 driving layup, 94 close shot, 90 mid range, 86 three pointer, 85 free throw, and a 94 driving dunk. Taking a look at the tendencies right here, guys. The tendencies are on point. 100 driving dunk tendency, 100 flashy dunk tendency, but unfortunately, only a 25 alley oop tendency. He's probably not going to be able to catch any lobs in this gameplay. Moving on now to the playmaking of this card. 2K gave him a 92 ball handle and 92 passing accuracy, as well as a 67 steal, which is kind of bad defensively, but he does have he does have an 82 perimeter defense, which is pretty good. 82 defense rebound is good as well, guys. The triple double definitely gave him some good rebounding stats. And moving along right here, 2K gave him a 94 speed, 94 three with ball, 98 stamina, 89 lat quickness, a 75 defensive, and a 95 offensive consistency to wrap up the attributes for the John Morant card right here. All in all, based off of the attributes and badges for the John Morant card right here, he pretty much looks flawless other than that low steal rating. Other than that, guys, this card right here looks like a very complete card. I can't wait to use him in a game of Unlimited. I can't wait to have some fun. Without further ado now, let's hop into the gameplay. So our opponent for this game right here, guys, has himself a very good team. He does have that John Moran at his point guard position. I'm going to take off John Moran at my point guard position because I don't want to have a John Moran versus John Moran matchup. I'm going to shift Jaw to the shooting guard and put in Magic at the PG. So it's going to be a John Moran versus Jimmy Butler matchup right here in this gameplay. My opponent did have a good team, guys, as you guys saw. This one should be a good game. For a high pick and pop right here, beat. Oh, oh my goodness. He's coming up here and just spamming square. This right here is definitely going to be a long game. Oh my goodness, we're down 5-0 already. Here's what it is, guys. Slow start. Hopefully we can bounce back and get this dub and do our thing. John Moran right here trying to rim run. Attack the left baseline. Not really going anywhere. Attack and paint actually right here going all the way with the nice two-handed dunk. Ready to get off that cold ring. Let's go, Jaw. Heat up. Gonna let him work out right here on the right wing. Gonna a nice pick and pop between AD and Jaw. Oh, beautiful screen. We're going all the way. Beautiful finish in the paint. Let's go. Hang on rim right there. Getting a little bit of fancy celebration in. I love it. Let's go, Jaw. Going on a high pick and pop right here between AD and you already know who we're running with. Oh, nice screen. They we're taking the mid range right here. Green bean from my boy John Moran. This man's jump shot is cash. Let's go. High pick roll right here between Shaq and Jaw. Oh, he's going under the screen. He's going way too under the screen. Bang! Don't go into this screen. I'm going to make you pay every single time. Nice shot right there for my boy, Ja. I'm going to try running a guard-to-guard -guard pick and roll right here. Hopefully, this man, Ja, can catch a lob. But honestly, I don't think he's going to be able to. Good screen up top. Hopefully, he can. He's on a roll right here. Going to lob it up to him. And okay, he caught a lob. Let's go. 
those tendencies might be a lie. He just calling right there at ease. I did want to test out that lob right there because I'm not sure if you guys know, but as we have Matt Johnson right here, gonna try and lob it up to Magic. Beautiful lob and finish inside from John and Magic. But getting back to what I was saying about the lobs, I have Galaxy Opal Ray Allen, and Galaxy Opal Ray Allen cannot catch any lobs. And it's super annoying because I spent like 1.2 million MT on that card. It was crazy how much I spent, and he can't catch lobs because of his super low tendency. But I guess John Morant can, which is a W. So we're gonna tag the paint right here with a Flood of Steam. Looks like I'm getting all balled a little bit from Victor Oladipo. Let's trying to run, try to run a pick and roll here between Shaq. And we're not really going anywhere. I'm still getting off balls. It's off balls getting ridiculous. So let's give it to Shaq right here. Down low in the paint, let him feast. Can't even feast with Shaq on this off ball. Magic, give me a quick bucket right here. I need a bailout bucket. Tag in paint. Two. With one. Magic going up. Thank you. Way to be patient. We get that layup to go. John Morant in the corner. Catch and shoot. Splash. Let's go. This man's release is cash. One of the best releases in the game, guys. I love it a lot. Trying to lock up right here. Let's get a stop. No shenanigans. Get a stop right here. That's on a cut. I'm there. Better finish by Blake. It's all good, guys. 1.1 seconds left. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make this full court shot. Three lengths to the court. It's up. And it's good. Yo. Let's go. We made a three points for four to line full court shot. Let's go. I'll take that. We're going to be up by four heading into the second quarter. Let's reset it right here up top. Give my boy John Isolation on Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin cannot hold this man. Nice crossover move. Tag man with a foot. steam going all the way. Drawing a foul in. Nearly getting an and one. Strong take right there. Going to be sent in line for the first time in this ball game. First free throw is up early and cash. Going to hold on to the release right here a little bit longer as I did shoot it early. Second one is up. Green and money. We go two of two with draw from the line. And I get that inbound steal. Let's go. I'll take that. Thank you very much. We got Shaq right here. Tag man with a full head of steam. Great finish inside, big fella. Good defense. Let's go. We get the steal. On a fast break right here, push the ball to court for the team. I'm blowing up to Shaquille O'Neal, and he's getting that slam dunk to go. His jaw right now has five assists in this game. He's on pace, guys, for a double double. And I get that steal. Thank you very much. Jaw talking to pay. Hop stepping all the way, and that layup is good over DeAndre Ayton. We've got a lead now to seven points, our largest lead of this ball game. Good board inside by Shaq up to Jaw right here on a fast break. I'm going to try and stop and pop from deep early release, and it is off. Good board and finish, though, by Magic. Way to follow Jaw's miss. Jaw got separation from deep, slightly early, bang! Nice shot right there. You can't leave this man open. I tried to board my opponent earlier. He leaves my, if, he, if he leaves my boy Jaw open for anywhere on the court, I'm going to make him pay every single time. Oh, good steal from Magic. I have no idea how we got that. Up to Jaw Moran. Oh, low way on that fast break. I'm going to buy 14 points, and it looks like my opponent's pausing the game. He might be out of here. He might. Okay, no, he's not, guys. He's not. But, yeah, we're doing our thing, guys. Let's keep, just keep, let's keep on doing our thing. Oh, good steal. That should be a steal. Thank you very much. And that, that, yeah, he's probably out of here. Yes, he is now. GG to my opponent in this one right here. I'm going to play one triple threat game with John Moran because my opponent did quit in the second quarter. I'm going to play one game with, with triple threat with Jaw, and then we'll call it a video. My opponents have Marcus Smart on Jaw, so that's definitely going to be a tough matchup for Jaw because he's one of the, Marcus Smart is one of the best defenders in the game. Nice move, though. We got separations from deep, and he's reading that one from deep. Same thing with my opponent. I'm going to tell him again, guys. I'm going to tell this opponent right here, you can't leave this man Jaw open. I'll make up every single time. That should have been a steal. Come on, 2K. I'll try to get a quick rim running bucket. This man draws pretty fast. Nice crossover move. And attacking the paint on this man, Marcus Smart. Going all the way, I guess. We're just going right through Marcus Smart using our strength. Good steal by Eaton. Up in T-Mac. One more to draw. Wide open in the left corner. 4-3. Splash. Another one. three-pointer from that left corner. That, that, that's a sweet spot for my boy, John Moran. That left corner. I'll try to get a quick rim running bucket right here with my boy, Jaw. Let's go. Actually, he's sagging off on him. I'm making him pay from the bang. Another three-pointer. For my mans. Ja fading open wide open from deep another green light from my boy Ja. Let's go. These the greening with Ja is too easy. This man's jump shot is pure cash. That's, that's a terrible shot. No way in the world. And I don't know how Marcus Mark gets that over Mark Ethan, but whatever. Yeah, that's, that's just 2K for you know. Stuff like that is gonna happen sometimes. It's all good though. Let's keep on going over right here. Offensively, as we're attacking the payment for the steam. Hop stepping, going all the way. That's a terrible layup, but it goes in anyway. I guess I got kind of rewarded. I, I, I guess I got kind of lucky a little bit right there because my opponent got lucky on the last play with that rebound. T Mac open from deep. Green light for T Mac. That right there is game. GG's to my opponent. So, John Moran in the Unlimited game, I believe, finished with around 21 points. And in the triple threat game right here, guys, I think he finished with 18 points. So, a total of 39 points in this gameplay for John Moran. Also, like, five or six assists. Very solid debut for my boy, Ja, in this video. Moving on now to the card review for this John Moran card right here. I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I feel like this card right here is one of the best point guards in the game. I feel like that he is, like, a top 15, top 12-ish point guard in the game. Borderline top 10. 
but I don't feel like that he is at that whole 10 out of 10 level yet. I feel like defensively, guys, he's missing some badges to give him a 10 out of 10. And also, when it comes to the size of John Morant, he's six foot three, which is a pretty good height. But his weight, at, his weight is only 175. He will get bullied in the post by other guards he, that, that are like his size. They could be six three guys, but they could pretty much bully this man John to paint just because he, he this man John is just super skinny. But nonetheless, guys, the John Morant card right here is still a great card and definitely worth 46,000 MT. If that is how much I paid for him. So yeah, guys, that right now is pretty much officially going to wrap up and include this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all love and support. And as usual, and as always, it's YBC, and I'm out. Peace.